What's up guys, D at Project One Gaming. It's been a long time since I got in front of the camera and did any kind of an update. There has been a lot going on, a lot of craziness going on in life, so I apologize for being MIA for a while, but uh, slowly getting back into it. Yeah, yeah, so um, I wanted to take a minute to give you an update on some projects I'm working on, because again, it's been a long time since I've done any kind of an update. Um, and also talk to you guys about a deal that I'm going to be throwing um, to a couple of clients. It's kind of like a first come, first serve kind of thing. Um, so let's start there. Um, <clears throat> because of some of the craziness going on, I won't get too, uh, too ahead into it. Um, obviously, I'm in a smaller place, and um, I had to part ways with some of my materials, some of my armies, stuff like that, um, which sucks, but I'm looking to rebuild. Uh, so what uh, kind of a deal I want to throw towards some clients that want to jump on this. Um, the deal is that I will uh, build an army of your choice or a project, I guess I should say, um, at distributor cost, um, you know, or like at, at my cost. Um, and in return, um, where you guys, uh, where the client would be saving the, the portion of money, um, we would come up with a set price you know, a payment thing, um, so that I can start building a new Necron army. Because I'm looking not to build an army, I'm looking to build a dynasty. And I really want to make it like a trophy case kind of thing. Um, so if anyone's interested in getting awesome deals on uh, minis, I believe it's up to like around 25 to 30% off. Um, I have access to secret weapon miniature bases at 50% off. Um, so yeah, we can make some really interesting armies with some really nice base work. So if you're interested, again, uh, let me know. And I think that's it for, for that. So uh, again, any, any questions, please email us at projectonegaming at gmail.com. But uh, let's take a quick look at some of the stuff that I've been working on. Um, I don't have it all in front of me, but I got some of it so we can at least get some kind of an update. So let's check that out. Okay, so this is for a client that actually picked off, uh, excuse me, picked up the um, Chaos Army that I built not too long ago. Seems like forever ago, but it, it's not. So the client wanted some additions. So let's start at the additions. This isn't all of it, but we happen to have, and they're base coded, obviously, um, the Warp Talons. But uh, oop, he fell down. But uh, what we're going for here is we liked me and the client both liked the raptor heads and without the wings. So basically, it's just like raptors with um, lightning claws. Nothing too uh, out of the norm with them. Basic setups, you know, as much as the kit can provide. Try to pose them as uniquely as possible. Get these guys out of the way. Uh, the client also sent over um, a Terminator kit, Chaos Terminators. So what I did was um, I took the Terminators that we already had pre-assembled, sitting on my light here, and I, uh, I, I took out the, the heads that I had because they weren't really that Chaos-like. This guy's my favorite. I love, I love the, the head. It you know, reminds me of like a rhino. Really cool. Um, so took out the, the heads and gave them the shoulder pads because we were looking at different shoulder pads to put on them. So now I think they have more of a chaos feel. And again, they have you know the shaved down uh, Grey Knight Terminator bodies, stuff like that, Space Wolf claws and, and weapons. It, it all works. It works. It looks really good. So speaking of Terminator, excuse the shaky camera syndrome. Here's a Terminator Lord being worked on. Client sent this as well and said just make it look cool. So I always am a fan of the chain swords, chain blades, because they're just, uh, and if you could really picture walking into that in real life, that's no joke. Um, so yeah, we're still trying to incorporate the same base colors, this you know brownish color, this light bone color, um, keeping that consistent with the cultists and everything that are in the army. So there's that. Also working on this Nurgle demon, trying to make him look disgusting as far as the flesh color goes, and I think we're uh, we're getting pretty close. So I, I washed everything with a brown as well, 
just to give it a dirty look before I go over with different colors because it's it's normal. You know, it's supposed to look gross. So there's that guy. All right, sorry about that transition there. Um, so these are three other models from Fantasy, but um, I believe we're going to be using this one as a sorcerer. I mean, it is a fantasy sorcerer, but it can be used in 40K. It's still got a little cleaning it has to go through. And then there's um, this model and this model that are from fantasy that I'm not really sure what they are, but somehow the client is going to incorporate them in the Chaos Army, which I think is kind of cool. So now let's take a look because the same client also has a big Tau build coming through. So let's take a look at what we got for that. All right. So let's start way over here. We have a fine cast ethereal model. There we are. Still needs some cleanup, but uh, that's one of the HQs. Um, I love this model. This is a Forge World model. I'm not 100% familiar with Tau. I, I, I think it's a Sasho, but it's such a sweet model. And it came with two drones. I was going to put them on the base with it, but um, I saw that it comes with those, so I'm sure they can move around the table and whatever, so I left it alone. Um, I try to go with as much posing as I possibly could with, with most of these models. So now we're going to look at the plastic kit crisis suits. There's still three more to go, which would be uh, bodyguards. Actually, you guys can see it in the back here. Um, Forge World sensor towers. That middle one... Um, unfortunately, the centerpiece that you see in the other two came extremely broken from Forge World. So I tried my best to use the materials that we had, and I put up one of those um, clear clear base for the uh, gun drones and stuff like that, just to kind of hold it up. So sorry about that. There's nothing I can do. I mean, it was in pieces. I should have took a picture, but I did not. Um, so yeah. Going back to these guys, um, I tried to dynamic pose as much as I could. There's lots of fusion blasters and um, let's see, what's the other one there? Plasma rifles. There is a flamer and a rocket launcher in one of them. But uh, I tried to also put the shields on some of the weapons just to, you know, use use the bulk of the kit. That's one. Um, you know, I mean, there's a couple like this guy who's kind of just standard hanging out um, again with the shield. But uh, this one was kind of fun to do. I glued that to the base so it looks like he's starting to take off. He's the only one that I really did that to. I was kind of running out of ideas. Um, there's that guy. Uh, this next one's probably my favorite. The flame unit with a rocket launcher. I cut the arm and reshaved it and stuff like that so I could give him more of an extended overextended look um, there were a few other ones that I, I kind of chopped their arms up but it's very subtle get a better light here you get the base idea all right so that's uh that's the quick look into everything i got going on um the other thing i wanted to mention is in the description below i'll have a link to my ebay page i have some really good deals up on ebay you should check them out um there's a couple of codexes with some fine cast models as a bundle for relatively cheap also a pretty big space wolf lot um with some primed models some models that aren't fully put together the pictures make them look kind of damaged but everything is there and there's a big bin of bits that come along with it, plus the codex. So it's a pretty pretty good deal. Um, check out the liner notes for that. And again, if you guys have any questions, please email us at projectonegaming at gmail.com. Uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.